Well, this is a request video. It's one I've been meaning not to do for a long time. And the problem is, probably YouTube is not the best place to be learning how to gear climb. So, but since it's, uh, you know, a pretty complete site, I think this will cover cams and uh, other pieces of gear. So we're gonna go with cams first. All right, so they'll come in a variety of sizes. To some being quite small, some being quite large. Usually they are four or three cams on a single axis and they have a spring that springs them back out into place. And the whole idea behind it is that the harder you pull on it, once it's placed inside the rock in a parallel side crack, the harder you pull on this, the more force is applied outwards on the cam. And so because of that, you have to think of one thing you have to keep in mind is that the rock quality has to be fairly good because it's a multiplication of forces again. And so your cam placement is only as good as the quality of the rock. The size of the cam placements is important because of the surface area and the friction that's provided by the surface area. And then the shape of the crack that you're placing the cam in. Now, The biggest mistakes people make are they over cam and then shove it in the crack and don't give the cam the opportunity to expand so that it's doing its job. And the other thing is it's over cam or under cammed and it doesn't and it's just sitting on the tips with no expansion whatsoever and so it's not uh, a very good placement. Another problem is people will put them into the crack clip the rope but usually and this is just generally speaking but probably better than 80 to 90 percent of the time the load force is downwards and so if you stick it in the crack click your rope once the force is applied the cam is going to have to spin into the place before it does the holding job that it's intended to do so I think it's just better whenever possible which is almost always is to place the cam in into the direction of intended load and then clip it. Add a runner to it so that you can reduce the play of the rope against against your cam so your cam doesn't have a tendency to walk deeper and deeper into the crack until it becomes unretrievable. We've all seen those and then you get guys like me who carry the two uh, uh, chalk picks that can retrieve just about anything. Um, the other thing too is the surface area but also the size of these cams when forces are applied. You can get very minuscule micro cams and they're not good for a lot of force. They'll blow apart quite easily but they're very good for aid climbing or if you have absolutely nothing else. Um, you have to use them. I mean, they're just, they'll keep the speed down until something bigger comes along. So, let's take a look at a few cam placements and then I'll have a chat with you. And this is all coming from my villa in Spain and I'd like to thank Philips Electric Razors for making this all possible. And you selling some kind of new drug there, lady, or what's going on here? Huh? Am I selling a new drug? Just beer. <laughs> Breastfeeding mothers to first choice? After you breastfed. It's a whopping 5.4%. I mean, your baby looks pretty happy. Have another beer. It's the rule in Spain. She's not that happy actually. She's very constipated. We're making prune juice. The climbing with baby didn't go that well today. The baby wasn't happy. She seems happy now. See her jolly jumping. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.
in general. What would you add to your placement in general? Well, you got to check where you're going to place it. So you want to look at the crack or the opening that you think this is going to fit into. And, and the shape of it. You want, ideally, if it sort of constricts a little bit below it or be, prevent it from sliding out, that'd be great. As opposed to, you know, a crack that sort of flares and then it's easier to just pull out. So those are some things I look for is the, and the quality of the rock around it. I mean, it's only as good as the, the quality of the rock. And, um, You know, the kind with these flexible, well, they pretty much all have the flexible ends. Now you don't very much see the, the hard stems, the steel stems. But the nice flexible stems, you can put them in horizontal cracks, and then they can bend over an edge. They say with these two pin axles that they can actually use them as a bit of a stopper. But I, I don't know. I, Rarely, rarely find, at least in the type of rock that I climb, situations where that feels secure because it could just wobble and walk and out it comes. But if you had a special slot, apparently they're rated to take that kind of force. These camelots, anyways, double pin. And what else can we say about these puppies? I have to think about how they might walk in the crack, and that's why you put that runner on them, so if they, they don't walk, like, they could walk back in the crack and be hard to retrieve. And then, while well, we get into a whole other section on, like, how to retrieve these puppies. And uh, that's one reason why it's sometimes helpful to have something like a rock pick or, if you're on a mixed route, use your ice axe hammer, but to get in there and be able to, with your rock pick, pull this trigger back, so you can actually pull these things out or sometimes I actually even get the rock pick around these cats and start reefing it out but that's probably better to show in the field when these things are actually stuck because some people you know some people get in a panic and then they just they cram them in there over cam like that like just and then there's no play in it and you can't get the darn thing out you know and they're just kind of stuck there because once they're in there like that they're you can't get any play to them out and you probably covered their strongest in this position in fact some of the camp like halfway between not cammed at all and over cammed somewhere in the middle there is when they're strongest and uh, some of them are actually coming out with the colored dots to help you figure that out if you have troubles with that concept but I think it's just the limit um, Pretty simple, really. They're sure handy, easy, generally pretty easy for people to get out. That's why they're so friendly and handy.